Okay, I'm Glenn Grady with uh, IUEC Local 90, and uh, this is uh, Don Richardson, also from uh, IUEC Local 90. And uh, we're out here today just to uh, provide some public awareness uh, for our situation. Uh, we are on strike from an uh, organization called NIA, and uh, they've, they've left us at the table, and uh, we have no negotiations uh, ongoing at this time, and we just want to get back to work and uh, put a deal together so that uh, we can get off the street and uh, provide public safety on uh, local elevators in this area. On that note about public safety, uh, we're concerned that the public is unaware that our apprenticeship program is over 8,000 hours to be entitled to work on an elevator. And these uh, corporations have put together these corporations have put together a weekend course consisting of 16 hours and are allowing these replacement workers to go out and work on these elevators. Uh, the potential for uh, safety is paramount and we're, we want to stress that we, we wanted to work. We've offered twice now to go back to work until a bargaining agent or our contract can be negotiated. The companies have denied twice us to be allowed to go back to work. And uh, this is uh, concerning because majority of our uh, business is conducted on a monthly basis and now at day 37 the elevators aren't being properly maintained by licensed, knowledgeable mechanics. And that is a concern. And uh, we want to, everyone to know that safety is paramount with us. And that uh, to uh, think about next time they go on an elevator, who's taking care of that elevator? The, uh, the local charter is in Hamilton. But uh, we also have uh, London and Windsor as named cities and surrounding areas from Windsor to Niagara Falls. Well, we have uh, elevators in these facilities. We don't have an actual factory that we can uh, pick it at. So we come to the areas where our equipment is. This is our job site. And we also have uh, a lot of support from uh, the other different unions that uh, work in these facilities. So is there other members in other areas right now doing the same thing? Or is it only here? This, uh, this strike is covering all of Ontario for the IUEC. There's three different uh, locals. 96 is Ottawa and 50 is Toronto. And 90 is Hamilton and the surrounding areas. Uh, today we'll be on this site. Uh, I'll pass it over to Don because he's from this area and he can explain further. Uh, today's an information picket here so that people who uh, use these facilities and ride the elevators within St. Thomas Mental Health will know that the elevators they are riding aren't being properly maintained right now and uh, run a potential of malfunctioning and uh, the response times to remove entrapped persons is astronomical right now because there's 1400 me mechanics out across the province and only a handful of uh, replacement workers to cover the whole province of Ontario so you can imagine that becomes quite the nightmare and uh, we're just it's all about information um, the main sticking points to our contract is seniority. Uh, they would like to take it away from us, but it's very important to us that it uh, protects our, our older generation, our future generations also, that we can make sure that we'll have a career right to retirement and not um, be set aside as we get older in our age. Uh, the other issues are uh, prefabrication. They want to build the elevators overseas and take jobs away from our own province and that, we don't like that. We, we want to make sure that we get the time to put the jobs together and that we continue to uh, help employ our province within. And then some of the others, it's just wording it within our own contract that they're uh, trying to make it more um, lucid and not as firm as we have it now. I just want to get back to the table and negotiate a fair contract so that we can all get back to work and, uh, and continue our livelihood and do our jobs and know that uh, the uh, equipment out there for, that the general public uses on a daily basis is being maintained in a, in a safe and proper fashion and being checked daily. Uh, we were uh, kind of asked to go back to the tables uh, last Thursday and Friday and uh, the negotiations weren't very active at that time. Uh, we were given a take it or leave it contract and it was uh, just not a deal that we were willing to uh, put our members uh, through to accept. So at that time, uh, we were also offered, we had also offered to return to work and we were denied that option and uh, the, the take it or leave it offer was left.